Hey guys, it's Damien here and hold on a second. Just got my package from PCBWay, which is a sponsor of this video. And they sent me some parts from my 3D printed helicopter. So let's see how they look. So PCB Way actually has multiple ranges of materials that you could choose from when printing. So I ended up deciding printing with nylon, which is a PA12 plastic. But let's see what's inside. Got some PCB swag. This is probably my landing skids. The frame. Two tail booms because I wanted to test out two different ones. And then probably the vertical stabilizer. So the first thing here is the vertical stabilizer which I had them keep in white. The two tail booms I had them dye in black because that is an option and it is version 1 and 2 that you can get from Thingiverse and Printables. The landing skids I also had them print in black and it is the latest version I've uploaded. As far as my airframe. I ended up keeping that in white, so we'll have a black and white themed 3D printed helicopter. Looking at these parts up close, they have a very matte-like finish to them, similar to fine grit sandpaper. When comparing these parts to the PETG parts that I've printed before, they don't have that layer line look to them, which makes this a very unique classic when printed. So that being said, let's put this helicopter together. But before we do that, if you can't print engineer materials because your printer's holding you back or you don't have a printer at home, check out my referral link down in the description below to be able to print with PCB way. Let's get to the build. So the build of this helicopter actually went better than I thought. There were three critical areas that were quite challenging when putting this aircraft together is the tail motor going through the tail boom. There was a lot of friction because of that matte finish and when putting the tail boom into the airframe, putting a nylon tail boom into a nylon airframe definitely creates even more friction so I had to be very careful putting that in. As far as forming the landing skids, it took a lot more heat to form them and then even after forming the landing skids, it took a lot longer to cool them down. So you had to hold that landing skid for a little bit longer than usual. The tolerances of the holes were absolutely perfect. PCVA took the time to review the design, reach out to me and make sure that all the dimensioning were dead on perfect and that it would be printable. There are areas that were smaller than a millimeter so I had to fix those areas. After that everything went quite well. So this new airframe will be uploaded to Thingiverse and Printables if you want to print with PCVA. My Nylon 3D helicopter is put together and now let's put it to the test and take it out to the field. Alright, hey guys, so I got the nylon 3D printed goose guy here and the battery actually fit in just as it's supposed to, so let's take it out on a flight.
Guys, that flight was extremely impressive. It held up very well. And one other thing that I've actually haven't mentioned to you is all these parts were actually printed at 100% infill. And like I said before, solid, solid print. Thanks PCBWay for uh, supporting me in this uh, video. And if, like I said before, if you guys have a 3D printer that can't handle some of these materials or don't have a 3D printer at home, I'll leave a referral link down in the description below. And the updated airframe will also be on Thingiverse and Printables. So if you guys like this type of content, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.